Hello everyone, this is 13 day old chicken eggs. I'm going to start off with four that I suspected were not fertile from before. And yes, this is definitely not a fertile egg. And this one is not fertile either. This one is not fertile. So you can see that the light clearly passes through when an egg is not fertile. And now we're going into eggs that are fertile. Okay, let's see. You can see you can hardly see anything at all because the egg is so filled up with mass. So that egg is fertile. You can see the air cell on the top right there, but you can't really see anything else. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through and do the rest of these and bring you back for another species or date. My phantom phoenix, it looks particularly active, so I was just going to try and see if I could catch any of that for you. I don't know how well this picks up on the camera. Sometimes it looks different, but there's definitely some wiggling in there. Oh, there's wiggling over here. See that little shadows dancing around is what it looks like. It's a very active little egg, but I know it's still very dark and hard for hard to see in a camera, much harder to see in a camera than it is in uh, natural light. Okay, this is the very last egg from the first batch, and it has a ring of death. So this means that the egg is fertile, but it stopped developing. So I'm going to see if I can show you. There is along my thumb line right here where I'm pointing, there is a red line. It's wrapping around the egg. I'm slowly turning the egg, and it wraps around the whole thing. Back up this one. It kind of moves back and forth a little bit. So I hope that you can see that ring. Now I have some duck eggs on day four, but I'm not sure if these are Muscovy or Muscovy cross or another breed of duck. And this is a fertile egg. You can see the embryo growing right there with the spidery veins forming on the outside. This is great. So we have a little duckling growing in there. This one I don't see anything, but I'm going to leave it in because um, four days is really kind of early and I know that certain ducks, uh, Muscovies versus other ducks, there you see it again, little spider veins. So Muscovies versus other ducks take longer periods of time to incubate. So not knowing the full history of the ducks that I have here, I'm not going to toss any out quite yet. But these are just perfect early fertility visuals here. This, uh, this egg has some interesting patterns in the, in the shell, in the calcification of the shell. So there's some lines, but still under it you can see a fertile embryo growing with veins. There's another fertile egg. And another fertile. Wow, we're getting uh, lots of fertile eggs here. Fertile egg. This one, um, the fertility is, the spot is close to the air cell, so you can only really see half of it, but the other half is under the air cell. So I want to separate out the suspect, the one that I suspect to be infertile. I want to separate that one out so it's easy for me to 
go back and look at again later. And I have to be very careful because one of these eggs in here, oh, this is it. One of the eggs that I have has, and I don't remember if it's in this incubator or the other one with duck eggs, but one of them has a broken shell that I mended with paraffin wax. Okay, fertile egg. This one has the fertility spot way up high and kind of in there, so it's hard to see, but it is fertile. There's another fertile egg. You can see the embryo growing right there. This one I don't see any spot, but like I said, it is hard to tell when they're this early because sometimes they are hi they're hiding right under the air cell and they're hard to find or something like that. So you would never. Oh, here's the one with the wax. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, there's some wax on this egg, and it's fertile. Oh boy. So we have a mended egg and we're going to see how that works out. Try and handle that one very carefully. Here's another one with, the, with that same pattern. It's probably from the same mother duck and it's fertile. Here's one that's right under the air cell, but I see just those little tiny veins coming up the one side, so I know it's fertile. Here's another one. Looks like a spider, partially under the air sac. This one looks like it is not fertile, so I'm going to put it in my suspicion bin. Or, you know, just the side slot, <laughs> and I'll check it again later. Same with this, I don't see anything yet, but still a little early to tell. I think I should. This one has, like, mass, like it's fertile, but I don't, I don't see the the, the uh, spidery veins or anything, so I'm just going to leave it in to be looked at again later. Here's another beautiful fertile egg with the spider very clear and easy to see. This is one of the duck eggs in which you can clearly see the heart beating. Isn't that neat? Oh, and that one's fertile too. Alright, those are all the duck eggs. Now I'm just going to have a look at some of the chicken eggs on day five. These are brown egg eggs, so they're harder to see. And this is a fertile looking barred rock egg. This is a fertile buff Orpington egg. I know it's really hard for you to see the spider, but I can see it really clearly right in there. This one is pretty dark and hard to see. It's a Rhode Island red egg. I'm going to say that just basically by how dark it looks, it probably is fertile, but I can't really see anything clearly. Let me see if I can find another one of those. Here's a nice clean Rhode Island red egg. It's dark. Let 
this one's fertile, I can tell. I can see the spider looking thing right in there. Partially, might be partially in the air cell too, but it really is harder to see detail in these harder, uh, I mean darker eggs. So let's <coughs> look at a Delaware egg. Oh yeah, there it is. It's fertile. I can see the spider right in there. Let's see, what else do we have? Did I do barred rock yet? Let's pick one of those. Oh yeah, this one is fertile. It might be a little easier to see too because it's lighting up. There's veins all right here. There's actually a lot of veins, <laughs> so that's great. Nice fertile little egg. Alright, let's just try this one too. Yep, this one's fertile too, another barred rock. I was curious about their fertility, so now I know that it's great. Alright, I'm not going to candle all of them because it's a little too early anyway. And I'm just going to leave them all in and check them all later, but I just wanted to show what the day six candling looks like.